Amnesty celebrated his 100th birthday with a party at the VA Medical Center near Wilkes-Barre. Hasty has seen a lot during his life. A World War II veteran stationed in Western Europe, carrying heavy artillery for the Army, president of West Pittston Borough Council, and the last survivor of the Knox Mine disaster in Luzerne County, even risking his life to save others that day. We had difficulties galore. But we overcame them, except, well, we lost men. On January 22, 1959, the Knox Mine disaster took the lives of 12 men. Hasty was on his way to work at the mine in the Exeter area when the Susquehanna River swallowed the mine. Management told miners to keep digging even when they were just six feet away from the riverbed. It took three days to plug the hole, using railroad cars and mine cars to stop the raging water. Hasty worked to rescue the men who were trapped. He later found out his cousin died. He and another worker. Uh, couldn't couldn't escape. They they were not big men, and the the boss of the crew was a huge man, and he didn't give a darn for his crew. A memorial near Pittston lists the names of the 12 men who were killed in the Knox Mine disaster, an event which historians say spelled the end of deep mining in the Wyoming Valley. The flooding of the mine um, and then the factors, of the, the political and the economic factors that led to the, um, the decision to mine where they did, um, it had a deep impact um, on, on how we proceeded you know, going forward. Hasty's daughter says his secret to reaching his 100th birthday is staying engaged. He reads the newspaper every day and works out. He rides a stationary bike 40, 45 minutes, three or four times a week. And he would ride it every day. He's, he's got uh, tremendous energy. And while most of us only get birthday cards from our family and friends, William Hasty also got a birthday card from former President Jimmy Carter and U.S. Senator Bob Casey. Carolyn Blackburn, Newswatch 16, live in Luzerne County. Thanks.